right? Don't lecture me. I'm not. I'm telling you, if I could come up with one tenth of the shit that your dad produced, I could write my own ticket to any math department in the country. Give me your backpack. Wait, what? Give me your backpack. Why? I want to look inside it. What? Open it and give it to me. Come on. You're not taking anything out of this house. I wouldn't do that. You're looking for something upstairs you can publish. Sure. And then you can write your own ticket. No. It would be under your dad's name. It would be for your dad. I don't believe you. There's a notebook in that backpack. What are you talking about? Give it to me. I think you're being a little paranoid. Paranoid? Maybe a little. Fuck you, Hal. I know you have one of my notebooks. I think you should calm down and think about what you're saying. <laughs> I'm saying you're lying to me and stealing my family's property. And I think that sounds paranoid. Just because I'm paranoid doesn't mean there isn't something in that backpack. You just said yourself there's nothing up there, didn't you? I... Did you just say that? Yes. So, then what would I take, right? Right. Thank you. Then you don't need to come back. Please, someone should know for sure. I lived not... with him. I spent my life with him. I fed him, talked to him, tried to listen when he talked, talked to people who weren't there. He shuffled around this house like a ghost, a very smelly ghost. He was filthy. I had to make sure he bathed my own father. I'm sorry. After I'm my sorry. mom died, it was just me here. I tried to keep him happy no matter what idiotic project he was working on. He read constantly. He kept demanding more and more books. I took them out of the library by the carload. There were hundreds upstairs. And then I realized he wasn't reading. He thought that aliens were sending him messages to the Dewey Decimal numbers on the library books. He was trying to work out the code. Well, what kind of messages? Beautiful mathematics, answers to everything, the most elegant proofs, perfect proofs, proofs like music. Sounds good. Plus fashion tips, knock-knock jokes. I mean, it was nuts, okay? He was ill. It was a tragedy. And then came the writing phase, scribbling 19, 20 hours a day. I bought him a case of notebooks and he used every one. I had to drop out of school. I'm glad he's dead. <laughs>